The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Back on the Domino's post-game report, we roll on as Carson Newman beats Brevard 96-55. to I'm Adam Cavalier alongside head men's basketball coach Chuck Vincent. Chuck, uh, a lot to like about this one. Started out on a 20-1 to run uh, and never really let up. You, you talked about Wingate making their first nine shots. Last time Brevard misses its first nine shots. This time yeah. uh, Pendulum kind of swings back in your favor. Yeah. Uh, one thing to start, but you closed this one as well, a 28-6 yeah. to six run over the half. How pleased were you with uh, th- there was, that there wasn't any let-up tonight? Well, I mean, I, we really challenged our guys. That, that sometimes it's not whether you win or lose, how you play. And, and, and I really, I really went, went, went sort of hard at, at them uh, to see what they were going to bring tonight. You know, um, obviously Brevard has had a tough season, mm-hmm. but, but they're well coached. Uh, they've got a nice, very unique scheme. And and you know they 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 can make it tough, but I thought our guys were just determined, and uh, on both sides of the ball, I mean we were very very de- uh, intentional about what we were trying to do defensively, and and again we're very intentional about what we we're trying to do offensively, and, and I like that they put two two solid halves together. Charles Clark, <coughs> uh, two games in Holt Fieldhouse, two triple doubles, 33 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists. Uh, I, I'm not sure what so, else there is. I, I, there, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's really a side to this that makes us even better. Birthday. Well, and it's, it's that, but it's not even that. Uh, because I really and truly can't believe that this, that it happened like this. It is his birthday, obviously. After shoot round today, I pulled him to the side and said, Charles, you're, you're the birthday boy. Um, it's late in the season. Uh, would it be unrealistic for me to just ask you to, 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 to have a triple double or score 55 or 60 points, and 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 I'm I'm, I'm serious I'm serious as a heart attack. Now I, I I asked him, and he looked at me and he said, uh, "Well, I've never really gone into a game trying to do that." And I said, "Well, how about tonight? Why don't we try to do that?" And and if I had only known that a simple request <laughs> would, would bring that, we would make that request. We would have been making that a lot, but for him to do that more or less on on request. That's what really makes this unbelievably uh, unique. <laughs> True story. Okay. Uh, Sawyer Williams, not too shabby either, 20 points. Yeah. He's <coughs> starting to climb up the, uh, the rankings in that regard. He moves to 14th all time, but a quiet yeah. quiet 20 points yeah. out of Sawyer Williams. How, effect, how was he able to be effective on the Well, he box? got good deep position. He caught balls thrown to him, and, and then he obviously finished. But he does that. I mean, that's just, you know, what he ate at 10 from the floor, yeah. four or four from the free throw line. Could not have been more efficient. Um, he just does what Sawyer has done consistently for four years. And, you know, this, this was um, – the great thing about it is we know that uh, Sawyer Williams has two more games here in Holt. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, as his coach, going to enjoy him as much as I can. I hope, hope the fans understand uh, what having him here has really meant um, – Sawyer is, is a true uh, student athlete, outstanding student, outstanding athlete, uh, tough as they come, and to, well, he's still the active uh, career leader yeah. field goal percentage, which in and of itself is an, a monumental achievement. So um, just just so glad that he's, he's uh, been ours for this time. You look at it too, Malik <coughs> Abraham finishes with 16. He was instrumental in that start. So yes. many transition threes early. Yeah. Was that the game plan to just get out and run, get into the corner? Yeah, we want to get stops and push it and get him to stretch. The great thing about Malik now, I, he has made a significant investment in this gym on the gun, honing his craft, you know, and really, really getting his mechanics and his technique down. And uh, I thought the first three shots he took were, were, were as uh, probably the, the three most consistent back-to-back-to-back shots he's taken. Mm-hmm from the three this year. Um, and that's when he jumped around and made him. And, and as he continues to, to hone his craft, he'll become more efficient. You know, he shot 50% in the three tonight. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with us expecting that he'd be a 50% three-point shooter every night, you know. And I know that he's a, he's a kid that takes challenges as well, and, and I have no doubt that he will, he will continue to uh, em, uh, emerge a, 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 as, a, as a major threat for our team. You lock up <coughs> a first-round home game for the South <coughs> Atlantic Conference yeah. Tournament. Uh, with this when you kind of alluded to that earlier. Uh, just how much does that mean for you, for this team, for this season? Well, you know, Kev, we knew we had a bunch of, a bunch of new guys this year, uh, and we had some really, really good solid returners, but we had a lot of new guys. And then when you have some of the things that we encountered early, losing to Mason and 
you know, big Dima Bakov, and then we've been what two and a half weeks without Zach Pangello. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what, uh, you know, we didn't really know what this team could potentially achieve, but to be sitting here, uh, what's it, 14 and 7 in conference play and uh, more or less solidifying a, 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 a four seed. I mean, I, I, I'm very, very pleased, very, very proud, and, and feel like we are really, really uh, making some strides here as we, as we enter postseason. Chuck, uh, senior day on Saturday. Uh, what do you have to do to get ready for the Coker Cobras? Well, I, I, I'm going to challenge our guys to really, really take pride and honor um, our, our seniors uh, to to go about business like they did tonight. Uh, really, it's not about necessarily the win or the loss, but how we're going to play. And, and then we want to we want to put or, uh, we want to sort of tie this regular season up nicely with a, with a great performance. And you know, that's, that's also Kev, as you and I both know, that's our uh, mm-hmm. our annual uh, well, that's a, uh, sweet treat. It's a dangerous day. Yeah, I mean, it's you a know, dangerous we're, we're, day. We're bringing the, the we're bringing the. Uh, the the, the 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 woman uh, herself, Karen Crane, back, and she will uh, she's going to deliver her 21 pies and cakes. So we need to we need to make sure we perform well so we can enjoy that after the game. Hey, we are going to watch you. That's Jake Benson joining us here on the post game interview. He was dressed up uh, as an assistant coach. Yes, today. he was. Got introduced pre game yeah. introductions. Uh, has the blue suit on, a little uh, blue, and you know, my color blindness is affecting me here. We we'll call it maybe a red. He hung uh, in there. He hung in there. I didn't know how long the suit would last. We made it throughout the game, but he's he, he's he's burnt the candle at both ends. Uh, he's he's near crash mode now, but he was he was very he was very valuable to our uh, our program tonight. Jake, any questions for your dad? <laughs> All right, that works. That, that does it. <laughs> Chuck, thanks for the time. Right. Thanks, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> it's